What's going on gamers? Today, let's go over how to install Darkness Falls to 7 Days to Die. Darkness Falls is one of the most popular mod packs within the 7 Days to Die community thanks to its wide range of options. This includes new types of zombies, exciting missions, unique classes, and much more. However, installing this mod pack can be pretty challenging if you're not familiar with the process, since it's quite extensive and the steps can get confusing. For that reason, we're going to go over it together today. First of all, you'll need to make sure you've removed any other 7 Days to Die mods that you might have installed. Once that's done, you can head towards your Apex server panel and press the stop button, and then download the latest version of the mod that will be linked down below. Extract the files from the zip onto your PC, and then open the mod folder within the extracted file. Using an FTP program, you can transfer all of the contents of the extracted mod folder to the mod folder on your server. If you need any help on knowing how to do this, we do have a guide that I'll have linked down below. Once this is done, you're also going to need to disable Easy Anti-Cheat on your server to be able to use the mod. To do this, you will have to enter your panel for your 7 Days to Die server, and then enter the config files of your server on the left side. After that, you'll have to enter the main 7 Days to Die configuration, and now inside of the INI file, you will look for this option. This will be found around line 68. Make sure to change it to false and then save the changes. In order to play the mod, you will also have to install it on your PC. To do this, start on Steam and then go to the game properties, right clicking, and then go to local files and click on explore. After that, find the mods folder, and if you don't see it, you can just create it with the same name. And in this folder, we're going to copy the files from the mod folder that we extracted from the zip file. Now all that remains is to deactivate the EAC, which is as simple as clicking accept when the pop-up window appears when starting the game. Darkness Falls is a special mod pack that requires being used on specific custom maps. It's important not to skip this step since the mod won't function correctly on a random or preset map in the game. Here is a list of maps that you can choose from to start your adventure with the mod pack. These maps are ordered from the smallest and least demanding to the largest. Now that you have your map, to have the server generate the map you've chosen, you're going to have to follow these steps. First, head to your panel and then go back to the config files section and into the main 7 days to die configuration file. Here you're going to look for the section that says name equals game world and value equals where you're going to enter the name of the map you want to install on the server. After you've done all this, just make sure to save the changes and restart the server. Although the installation process of Darkness Falls can be overwhelming due to the number of steps, hopefully following this guide made it a little bit easier. Once it's installed, you'll be able to enjoy a completely new and exciting gaming experience full of challenges and adventures. So, gather your friends, prepare to face the dangers of the apocalypse, and have fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.